I can start Orlando by saying I thought it was a great performance. I mean, you must have got this oh. screenplay through uh, and just thought straight away, I just, I need to play this character because there's so much sort of, um, to, there's so much here for an actor to work with, isn't there? It's so much nuance in, in this role. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, man. That's really lovely to hear you say. And, and, and I couldn't agree more. It was, um, I, I knew almost immediately that I wanted to play Malky. Instinctually, I could tell that I wanted to. And I think that was in part just how the character was described in the script and the way that Jeff was writing him. And then I got to this really intense moment that, we're, that I think is is something that I've never seen before on film, you know, which we, we see Malky have this, this, um, this moment with himself, which is sort of like reclaiming the, the experience that he lived through, a sort of self-abuse self-masturbation moment and um and I and I was like I don't think I've ever seen that before wait a second <laughs> can I do this what am I taking on um and it was really just through great conversation with Jeff who Jeff Thompson who's written about his life and, I, and Malky the arc of Malky's character is true to to the arc of Jeff's own story with with abuse and he, he was abused and he's, he's written really beautifully, really compassionately and really um, courageously about his own experience um, with, with, with child abuse. Um, I also sent the script to an organization called One in Six and that's the, a statistic for the amount of men who've been abused. And it, and it just became very clear to me that not only did I really want to step up to the challenge of playing this character, but that actually the, the story of Malky's journey um, which really explores the destroyed nature and and the um, the uh, the terrible explosive anger and jealousy and the feverish dreams and experience of life that somebody who is unhealed and has has suffered uh, an abuse like that um, it, it was just like oh this needs to be told you know, it need they're, they're, you know, certainly one in six said, look, even if this movie doesn't come out, please send us a copy so that we can share it with our with our organization because it's it's so true. It's so and, and that was that was that was Jeff, you know, that was Jeff's writing and you know and and uh and then I think, you know, you know, the way that he got these, you know, he got the movie made, you know. Yeah, because I was, I was going to say, I mean, of, of course, as, as rewarding an experience it must have been for you, it must have been exhausting to be in that headspace every day across the course of the set. By the time you got the kind, by the time you hit that rap party, you must have felt this kind of feeling of, of just relief that in some ways, as, as amazing an experience it probably was, that that you were able to to get back in into Orlando's body and not the characters. Yeah, Turn the, turn, turn the page on that character was was certainly a big sigh of relief, but it was also, you know, it's quite sad in a way, but it was, I mean, I still get kind of knots in my stomach just talking about it. And it was, it's mad because it, you know, it premiered in Edinburgh and tragically I wasn't available to go to, the, to that, but um, at the Edinburgh Festival, but Otherwise, it wasn't, it, I just didn't know, I, I didn't think this movie was going to see the light of day. I just didn't think it was going to find an audience. I didn't um, know until COVID, you know, it's one of the blessings of COVID for me is, is that this movie came out and I got emails and from my agents and, and, and friends who were like, have you seen the reviews for Re Retaliation? As it was renamed, because it was originally Romans and Edinburgh. So I'm just so grateful that I'm able to talk about it today because it was really one of those roles where I was like, I'm just going to leave it all on the field. I'm going to go for this, and you know, I'm going to take it there, and I'm I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to do all the work necessary and and pr prepare for for a journey. And um, man, and and you know, so it's great that you know, it's been uh, it's great that I'm here talking about it. <laughs> Yeah, because I, I mean, obviously, you know, with, with, when you do what we we're just saying, you know, you get that sense of relief when it might be over because it would have been so men mentally exhausting. But in some ways, that shows that as an actor, you are able to then be free. But the poor people that go through this, of course, are never free, are they? That must be quite a profound thing. That must be hard. To, now you've got into the head of a character like this. That must stick with you because I, I guess you've met people that have obviously gone through this. It must have been quite a profound overall experience making this. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I now... You know, I think we've all we've all walked through the streets and seen those people talking to a lamppost or screaming at the heavens, and 
and I now I'm, I'm now I think so many people are like wait uh, are they gonna you know I now think well what was the catalyst you know that 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 could have been Malky you know like I mean and by the way that could be you know you know Malky's journey is about forgiveness um, it's about you know you know forgiving his mom you know not only this priest that that has abused him but 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 then he has to forgive his mum, who was complicit, and, he, and the shame around that that she clearly has in that beautiful performance by Annie Reed, where you see that like, like it's sort of like pinted the way that dialogue plays. I always feel like it's like everything that's being said is not said, you know, everything that is happening between the lines. But it's and 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 then the you know the the relationship with the wonderful Janet Montgomery, who I think gave such a beautiful performance, and and and, and you know that kind of crazy making jealousy that he has all based on like his his like trust that's been breached like he can't trust anyone so there are so many really powerful themes running through the film and and so yeah i mean i i i do i mean i think about now you know especially in the world we're living in today and you see you know, we've seen all this crazy toxic masculinity being kind of revealed and stuff. And you kind of go, well, what was the starting point for that? Was it, you know, how does that, how does that happen to a human, man, woman, anyone? Or, an, you know, it's like, you see it in dogs. You see a dog go right, it's like, and then you can see if somebody actually approaches them, they suddenly become, it's all, it's nurture, right? Not nature necessarily. Mm. Yeah, I was going to say because obviously we talk about the strength of of this this character and, and and of your great performance. But was there almost a little bit of a sense when getting this role of like thank you? <laughs> because I guess it, do you think this some ways yeah. this industry has got a bit of a problem with typecasting? You do one type of role well, and suddenly so many more of that variety comes in. And sometimes actors can be a victim of their own back catalogue and of being a movie star, you know. And do you think in some ways some some actors like yourselves needed a retaliation to say, look, this this is what I can do? Hundred percent. I mean, I'll, no question. I mean, look, I'm, you know, I mean, I'm super grateful um, for everything that that comes. Um, you know, I, I love, I love what I do. Um, I would say being a part of two of the biggest trilogies of all time does have a price, and it's like, and that is that you, even if I never saw myself or see myself as that as one thing, you know, that's, it's like it takes a while. I would say, and I would say it's a, it, you know, it's also an audience. It's like what the appetite is for. And I, you know, had a baby, I've been a 10 year old now, but like I also now have a six month old, but some time ago I just, I had, I'd stepped, I took, uh, you know, there was a period where I was just going from one movie to a press conference, movie, press conference, movie. And I didn't even, I mean, I didn't know which way was up and I didn't know who I was. So, you know, and I think that, and I was sick of the sight of my face, honestly. You know, if, you know, if you, you know, I don't want to give you a a line there. I don't want to give you that. That's like, please don't use that in that way. But what I mean, but but what I mean by that is, you know, there was so much publicity and so much around that, you know, it's hard for people to, you know, accept that, you know, an audience is who sort of decides in some way who you're, who, who what they want to see of you, and you 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 can't just turn an oil tanker around like that. You, it's like a whole thing, you know, it's a whole journey. And that's what it felt like. And so certainly playing, you know, Malky was, was part of, 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 a, of a, you know, it was me, you know, tipping my hat to the industry in the UK who I, that I always love and as a, as a, as a, as a movie girl myself and the lover of movies, I watch the movies. Like, I mean, most recently, you know, County Lines, I think is one of the, one of the great British independent films to come out at the moment, you know, in terms of performance and authenticity, you know. And so I love the great, you know, British industry. And so I, I, I certainly doing this like movie that was about a million quid to make, you know, was, was it, was a, was a real labor of love and a real sort of like, I'm here for this, you know, I'm, I, I want to be a part of this, you know, they're not all great, but, you know, the great ones are greater than the greatest, in my opinion. So, um, and then I went from this actually to do a play in the UK on the West End, um, this is obviously pre-COVID called Killer Joe, which I had an amazing experience in as well. So, so it was, yeah, I mean, you know, I'm, I would say yes to your point, 
there's you know you whether you in your mind think you're something that you're not or or whether you think you're going to be typecast or not that does tend to sort of be a you know it's, it's what an audience can take so hopefully you know i think Malky's character will you know shows a so certainly a different side to me so yeah i mean because i mean yeah because looking back i mean you were you became through that for your appearances in those 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 franchises a huge global star. Can anyone prepare anyone for that sort of fame? You know, I, I, no matter how you might sort of go to drama school, you might do this, and they might say, right, one day you can no. get a big role. But can anything prepare you for that to that sort of limelight? No, mm. no, no, it really can't. It's not something that uh, there's no frame of reference for it. Um, you know, and it's not just the, it's not really the, it's, it's, it's all the, the, the crude, it's all the, the crude amount <laughs> that come with the fame. It's the, it's the, it's, which, which even if it's not affecting you, it always is affecting everybody around you as well. So family, friends, everything, everybody is affected by somebody who suddenly is projected into that place. Um, and, and, and nobody can, and, and you're just a person in the midst of it, you know, and, and if you're, you know, a creative in that process, then you're just trying to stay creative and stay, you know, vital and interesting and interested and everything. But there's nobody, but it's, it's, it's also like, you know, I was, I was very fortunate to have a Buddhist practice and I think friends, family, people, you know, having, having, you know, you only need one really good friend in life is what I've come to realize, but I've got, fortunately I've got way more than that, but like, it is interesting. You just need that. You do need somebody and, and um, yeah it's there, there isn't so thank you so much for thanks man it gets me today and for honestly the brilliant performance of retaliation i think it's a it's a great little movie oh yeah. thanks man i really appreciate that well hopefully it finds its own audience and um this will help yeah fingers crossed all right mate, well, have, a, have a nice Cheers, one and I'll, I'll speak you to too you. have a good one ladies and gentlemen you're watching hey you guys Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed. Yeah. Nice. Hey!